businessman, proud father of seven children. I'm counting. I grew up in a wonderful community in Portmore, the second child of my father, third for my mother, who had a my daughter from a previous relationship. I attended Waterford Infant School, Waterford Primary School, where I passed my examinations for Calabar High School. Where, where I was unfortunately expelled in the 10th grade for truancy, because at the time I had already engulfed my whole being and I was calling school down at various corporate era studios. And such. I knew from a tender age that I was destined for a career in music as I used to watch my uncles who were aspiring DJs, none of them never was, <laughs> perform regularly at my house on an informal sound system, much to the delight of me who was their audience, only audience at the time. In Jamaica, dance and music has been getting a lot of flack recently. And I'm listening, since its emergence from a wide cross section of society, but Vice County music has also been at the center of a lot of controversy over the years. But my music is a friend to some people and a foe to others. But that is totally acceptable to me based on the mere fact that dancehall itself has always been social commentary reflecting the duplicitous foundation of the Jamaican experience. Sir Walter Rodney alluded to this factory in Browning in my region. Jamaica is not out of many one people. Instead it is an economically, ethnically, politically, and religiously divided country. So, we are as ready spoke to the Garvian message of one love, dance hall generally speaks to the mobile message of rebellion which in my opinion is why it is sometimes feared, scrutinized, and demonized by our post-colonial masters and their subordinates. My music is controversial, but so was reggae, which interestingly was labeled rebel music back in the day. So reggae was also controversial. Before it, it, before it was fully accepted first by the lower class of people where it originated, then by the upper class of society, after it had garnered international recognition. So basically, it went abroad and came back to us and we accepted it because you know Jamaica and foreign things. The point that I'm trying to make is that the stone that the builder refused shall become the head corner stone. And right now, dance hall has become that disregarded stone. Because look into this, 30 years ago, Bob Marley was despised and ridiculed by the upper echelons of society as a dirty rasta boy, ganja smoking, and promoting similar address. Now, now, that same Bob Marley is poster boy for the Jamaica Tourist Board. We didn't miss the phenomenon, same way. In, in, in my view, Carter is not merely a DJ, but also a poet of Shakespearean stature. but one of the best doing dance and I say this because my lyrics at first glance may seem simple but different layers can be peeled away to reveal a much more complex meaning depending on age, knowledge and nationality of the listener. Two quick examples. Some read a gun women or but some one of them be war cooler than Reagan and Baba chop them. The second line speaks not about coalists in war, but about the actual Cold War era between America and Russia, whose respective leaders at a critical point in time were Ronald Reagan and Mikhail Gorbachev. Mm -hmm. Undoubtedly, the media were all present tonight. The media uses Vice Cartel to sell papers. You read the thing? To sell papers and to gain viewership by broadcasting the negatives but never giving the positives similar power. Play. Example. Every day there's a headline, an article, or a letter to the editor. <laughs> 
and one topic of another is that it's about cartel skin allegations of feuding with cartel and he she and the old lady are just a general negative showcase of cartel yet when cartel does his regular good deeds and i repeat regular yes the media couldn't care less you will see in bold headlines cartel encourages jamaicans to scar skin what about cartel first dj to open his own rum factory you will easily see on the front page cartel and such and such at ads fine because that is news but what about giving the same front page headline to cartel to his business ventures employs over 30 at jamaica my fascination with tattoos came from my favorite rapper of all time Tupac and ever since I, I saw his thug life tax on his stomach, I decided to make my skin a living, breathing canvas for the visual arts. Okay? My skin marks, no pun intended, many milestones in my life and represent another form of expression for me. For me, tattoos, although they're on the exterior, they, 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 they really tell a different story and they tell a lot about my interior. And I'm not just for show, but rather, as, as the PowerPoint shows, uh, can serve as a history book of my life. Oh. One may not understand why I alter my skin and as such may formulate his or her opinions, many of which might paint me in a negative light, but they are, as I said before, merely opinions, not fact. Scientific fact. Less than 4% of DNA determines our race and skin color less than 4% of DNA according to according to Google Good. many people no, seriously no, no. many people many people talk about garbage in black pride etc I have no problem with black pride and I can assure you that my skin alteration has nothing to do with self-hate or, or opposition to blackness and Darwinism. And if we and if we should look into the issues of the black race as it relates to our advancement or non-advancement thereof worldwide, I think altering skin color would not be our biggest problem. Okay? I maintain that many appearance altering practices that started out controversial and taboo. I know why they accept it. Did you know that when a male, when a male, this is fact, when a male in the 17th century were Aries, that means you were a pirate. When a male wore Aries in the 1950s, it means you were a homosexual. No, when a male wears an earring, it's just trendy. You know what I mean? So from controversial and taboo to gaining widespread acceptance you know what i mean so with that being said i further maintain that bleaching today doesn't mean the same as bleaching 25 years ago today listen to me this is opinionated this is my opinion so when the lecture finish you can ask a few questions as to why i hold on to what i do but i maintain that bleaching now doesn't mean the same as bleaching 25 years ago today we are a much prouder race who know that we can do what we want as far as style is concerned. We dictate styles and regard them as just that, styles. So as controversial as bleaching might be right now, I bask in this controversy with cake soap as my son time. A lot of people say vibe cartel worships the devil. And People recently in the media, and one specific artist has even gone as far as to say that I have sold my soul to the devil. So this is a question now for the audience. I would like to know, how does one go about selling his soul to the devil? Does the devil have a bank account? All right. Do you first put an ad in the classifieds, sold for sale, in good condition, leave a number to call, the devil calls you, and you work out in the fine print of it. He gives your manager's check for your soul. You go to his bank and back from a commercial bank. And you proceed. And how does it go? I'd like to ask someone in the crowd, how does one go about selling his soul? 
But in concluding, I would like to say that my life is my art, and my art is my life. Life is a colorless coloring book, and we have all the crayons to make it as colorful as we want by the choices that we make and how we live our lives. In my life, everything I do from controversial lyrics, bleaching, etc. Everything I do in my life is precisely orchestrated and executed in a specific way to achieve a desired result. Okay? So, I am conscious of everything that I do because I decided to make my life pretty like a coloring book. Thank you. Good night. religious or political leader. I'm an entertainer who does adult-oriented music. So I'm not here to, 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 to preach my morality or lack of. I'm just here to do music to the best of my ability. That's all. If you need morals, I suggest you, you go to the nearest church. I'm going to kill up on it, see? I'm killing up there. They have the end that here are you come tell me they are come back on stage so we want to know where you are killing up. Listen. Vibe Scarten. Vibe Scarten and no DJ in the entertainment industry is in any field, cascas, victory, A lot of artists chewing word at Vibe Scartel, doing sounds. Vibe Scartel is not answering. I'm just looking ahead, doing my music, and making my money. So we are not artists, nothing I know. Especially those people.